in trouble by knowing me, but I'm going to do a little black material here. Nice. Little black material so here. Uh, a Jamaican let's, let's woman. Sicilians. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, of course. You know, the Moors. Your great, 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 great grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. A <laughs> uh, Jamaican woman has a problem with African uh, blacks or American blacks. Uh, she runs a bed and breakfast or a, a Airbnb or whatever in Jamaica. And this woman has had this place and she rents it out and she explains it to all kinds of people. And guess who the only people she has a problem with are. And she's fucking black as the ace of spades Jamaican. <clears throat> and she, this is not 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 propaganda this isn't white supremacy this isn't bigotry this is this woman's experience running a business that has a very diverse clientele and then making uh their own uh very reasonable deductions on on how people are when they uh conduct business with you here here she is Stay here. I have Jamaican people stay here. I have white people stay here. I have Spanish people stay here. And I have black Americans stay here. I'm not saying not all black Americans are bad, but the ones that came to my place have been nothing but problem. Only two good ones came here, all of them. Fight late at night, not with me, with each other. They're disrespectful, they're entitled, they're un unappreciative. And it is that way because America has spoiled them and give them so much free shit where they could come to Jamaica and get the free same free shit out here and be nasty about it. I'm not saying all of you are like that, but because of that, I'm not risking my health and my happiness for people. No short term stay. No short term stay. It's not no gonna happen. I'd rather eat salt stays. and banana and let goats and cows live into my houses than I have people come here and stress me. I will not hate my business because of customers. A lot of business people are miserable because of some kind of customer. Not this place. I don't want my place is drama free. African people stay There you go. I mean, how do you how do you blow that off as some terrible racist rant or or something that is based on uh, stereotypes and and well, she's an Oreo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's she's what, that's Jamaican. What... Jamaicans hate everybody, man. No, she laid it out there. She owns a, a a business where people stay in a house that she owns, and she's noticed that the fights and the destroyed property and whatnot come mostly from the American black people that she has as a clientele, and uh, she won't do it anymore. Uh, and she said, yeah. it right. she said it right at the top. Yeah. The disclaimer was, I'm not saying all Americans. No, no. Lives. And no one is. I mean, look, it Even would be. you. Yeah. No one. I know. I mean, no it, one. It, it, it would be very difficult to go through life without uh, uh, dealing with or being friends with uh, black people if you're a white person. Unless, you're, just, a, unless you're a Daniel Carver. Yeah. That's Daniel Carver. I <laughs> made my cement nigger. Uh, yeah. We well, you know Daniel. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, obviously, and that's where it is. It goes, you know, not all. And you go, yeah, I didn't even feel I had to say that. People think you have to preface it with that. And people feel compelled to preface it with, I don't mean all. And that kind of comes off as a racist -y thing. Yeah. Hey, some of them are good. Right. Uh, I have friends that are... Uh, which, by the way, comes off as a racist thing. People go, oh, you're going to give me the I have black friends? Yeah, that is a legitimate way to say, look, I'm not racist. Real racists don't have black friends. Yeah, well, they don't sit at a bar where black people are and look at the TV and go, oh, wow, good hit. That's just good hit another, by judge. That's just another way to make you sound bad. Yeah, yeah. You know, for, for calling people out. Absolutely. You, know, you that's call out the truth and... You know. The truth is the worst fucking thing people could say these days. It, it's it's a hateful thing. Hate facts or hate math. It's the worst thing they can say because it's true. It's true. Yeah. That That's what really pisses off the people that are, uh, you know, adamantly against anyone saying yeah. anything about, uh, you know, a demographic yeah. you might have a problem with, you know. There's so much uh, going on with uh, people that don't like the truth or don't like hearing it and it's not only racially uh, you look at something like mainstream media and i think people have been so conditioned that they believe it they believe the news they have for many years growing up you know it wasn't much on television when we were young and the news was on you know they had the midday news the six o'clock news and your parents watched the news that's what what happens uh and, and to 
to go through that and realize you believed it. And then later someone tells you it was all bullshit. You don't want to believe that it's all bullshit. That means you were fooled. You're a fool. You got bamboozled. Right. And and you have some weakness that you didn't understand or know that they were bullshitting you. So that's a horrible thing to have to accept. Mm -hmm. So that, I think, is why people don't really want to buy into the fact that all the media is, is lying, full of shit, and agenda-driven. Uh, the other thing racially is even more frightening because the truth is so scary to some people. If you really belt out the truth about violence and crime and uh, education and uh, the actual, not even the truth, even even glancing at this and, and mentioning it as an option is frightening to people. Uh, so, you know, they don't want to hear that either. They don't even want to end up with their own podcast. No, well. no, no. Don't end up like that's me, the folks. Big, that's the big issue. Don't end up with their own like me being able to drop N-bombs and say wow. chink. Uh, having gigs canceled. Because yeah, of, yeah. Because of say, you know, just speaking the truth. Yeah. A, oh, yeah. Happens. Yeah. Well, there's the, the, the bullshit that people put out that are complete lies about me and you and other people. And then there's the, the sh legitimate stuff where, yeah, I did say that. Right. I did write that. Right. And it's the truth. And uh, more than that, it's, it's my take on, on the things on this truth. Uh, and why shouldn't I have a right to do that? Most of the time it's embellished on, oh, they, they embellish yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, they'll, they'll misquote, they'll, you know, take yeah. little pieces of quotes and whatnot. Mm. They don't look at the, uh, the overall picture. They like to, uh, you know, they like to make it look right for them. Yeah. And uh, that's really the, that's the biggest issue that we've had. Yeah. You know, in the past. I mean, it, at the end of the day, you know, what happened? How much different were our lives really going to be? I have to wait for the end of the day. <laughs> right. I have to, I hate having to wait. Everyone brings that up and I'm 